Well, good morning, everybody. Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, giving the viewers a voice from New South Wales, Australia. Dawn Ross, this is a perfect example of how the ex elders' knowledge can inform us on the inner workings of Watchtower. Joe's a lovely man, and I'm glad you were able to highlight his video. Hope things are good with you, Dr. Morrison. Thank you, Dawn, and I hope things are good with you and everybody else. Devon Diaries. Haven't heard from Devon for a while. Hope you're well, Devon. They eat grass twice a week and mags in the stored silage. God gives them a strong delusion. That's Romans 1, isn't it? You are, if you are all taught the same and all in there read the same, you believe it's true. Twilight Zone. Mm, it is Twilight Zone stuff, Devon. Um, just, you have a switch off when you are questioned. Even I, too, did this. So you have to, you switch off when you're questioned. And Devon did this too. Because they believe the devil is trying to take you away from God when other people talk to them. Mm. I can't comprehend for the life of me how powerful the brainwashing is in this organisation. <sighs> Thank you so much. Venora. Hi, Venora. Thank you so much to all who make their comments. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Venora Moon says, Thank you so much to all who make their comments. It is so encouraging to know I am not alone in this journey. Kiss, hug, kiss, hug. Doc, thank you for the time you take to bring us together and to have somewhere to voice the frustration, pain and sorrow we bear on a daily basis. Well, I do hope this is therapeutic for you. Um, now, this was Stuart's video. It wasn't... Oh, Stuart. Now... I had um, editing trouble last night. I had terrible editing trouble. Stuart ends up getting handcuffed. I'm working on playing the second part of this, viewers. Um, Stuart ends up getting handcuffed. Uh, but I'm working on trying to get that to you. Um, I, do, I do ask for your forgiveness, but I just can't seem to work out this machine. We've got a new one, and we, I'm waiting for the computer man to come tomorrow to get it going. Mr. D, this guy's out of line, big time. He's not out of line, brother. He's out on the street. He's out there trying to do something. Unlike us lazy thugs, we just sit around criticizing and having our say on everything. This guy's out. He's out making a... Vo making a what's he doing? He's out making um, a difference. Stuart's out making a difference, and I'm going to play more of Stuart's stuff. Mr. D, why? Because he's calling them out of their bullshit. Good on you, C. Reinhardt. Oh, yes. Good on you, C. Reinhardt. That's what we want to hear. I'm going to read that again. Mr. D, this, is, this guy's out of line big time. Let's give Mr. D a thumbs down. Thumbs down, Mr. D. He's got a thumbs down, everyone. Mr. D's got a thumbs down. There you go. I even took my glasses off. But C. Reinhardt sprung back and said, Mr. D, why? Because he's calling them out on their bullshit. Let's give, let's give C. Reinhardt a round of applause. Good on you, C. Reinhardt. That's what we want to hear. Don't be, don't be like these lefties that are gutless. Stuart's out there. Stuart ends up getting handcuffed. I've got to play the second part. We're just trying to empty the drive on this machine. It's full and I can't figure out how to get the, get it clear, clean. Dawn Ross. Venora Moon made an excellent point that rang true with me. And she and yes, she did. After years of depression and self-loathing as a JW, I finally just wanted to die. Oh, gosh. I did everything by the book as a JW and my life was broken. As a mother to a toddler, I finally decided I had to get out. One, to save her from the burden of growing up her JW. And two, 
I was becoming suicidal. Hmm. I knew I was going through the motions for the wrong reasons, and so my service was worthless anyway. What a revelation! I walked away from that life, and although I still believed I was flawed and I'd been through some difficult patches, I felt like a burden had lifted from me. So being a Jehovah Witness ain't what it seems. For the first time since early childhood, I had some enthusiasm for my life, contrary to what JWs believe about ex-JWs. I wasn't leaving the cult because I wanted to embrace a life of sin. I left because it was a matter of survival for me and my child. My life opened out in beautiful ways. I even ended up marrying a wonderful, kind man. I was in that fantastic, who has offered me nothing but unconditional love which continues to heal me. I'm so grateful. Sorry this is so long. No, don't be sorry, Dawn. Don't you be sorry for one minute. This is what this channel's all about. It's about therapy. It's about getting through this stuff. This was over 20 years ago. Can you imagine I was walking around not necessarily thinking the JW cult was true, but I had no idea the actual truth about the cult. Hmm... It's only in the last few years I discovered what the organisation is all about. It has been shattering and I'm grieving again for the last years wasted in the cult. Oh, it's not funny, but goodness gracious, how do, how do they get away with it? On the bright side, my daughter has grown into a remarkable young woman, living proof that religious indoctrination is not required to generate beautiful humans. Hear, 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 hear. Love is Love is the answer to everything. Action, love in action. It sure is. Thank you for caring so deeply for all of us discarded ones and for those still sleeping in the cult. All best wishes to you and your family. Now that's a very touching comment, isn't it? And a very important one. The therapy's really starting to happen now, isn't it? People are starting to minister. to See, that's ministering. Dawn's now ministering to the viewers through the comments. The comments in themselves are a form of recovery and therapy and restoration, which ultimately is what this is all about. The Anglo-Scottish as a true pagan. Gee, what is that? It sounds like a bloke running around in a kilt that's ready to... I don't know. What, well, well, he's on a horse, isn't he? He's like a Scottish... Um, what were those people called in 300? What were those Greek guys called? Um, oh, I forget now, but he looks like a fierce fellow, this Scottish, Anglo-Scottish Asura pagan. Astra True, what's he going to say? No matter how hard anyone can try to inform a single JW, apart from the rest, to leave the watchtower, the JW will always run back to the same, to the name of Jehovah. That hybrid name, invented by a monk hundreds of years ago in Spain. I remember when I was the same when I was still a slave in the WT and BTS of the JW. It makes me angry. I tried unwitnessing to a witness for the past three years, but I watched her go through into the cult's high-controlled, mind-controlled, so-called religion. It makes me sad that I've only to save myself from the org. Amazing video postings. Hails to you, Pro One Theologist, and hails to you, Anglo Scottish Astra True Pagan. It sounds like the sort of person you don't want on your doorstep, doesn't it? Imagine him knocking on your door as a Jehovah Witness. Goodness gracious. Green Goddess, Stuart is a warrior, and that is what he is. Now, I'll say it again Stuart ends up getting arrested. Um, I've got to play the second part of this video, but my hard drive locked up. Anglo-Scottish Astra True Pagan. They, the JWs, run like cockroaches, like always. And now, JW members posing as regular interested folks. I wasn't that pathetic. Wasn't that pathetic, viewers? One of the mothers of one of the publishers walked up to the cart and pretended she was an interested public person. 
not realising that Stuart knew she was a member of the Jehovah Witnesses. Now, that's desperate, isn't it? That's desperate. Um, where are we? Yes, but they're not like the real regular interested folks. Public recording in the US goes under the First Amendment, but if JWs are being shown of their true colours on film, then they are against the First Amendment. I'm not sure how the laws are like in Australia. Well, I don't know if you can do that in Australia. And the funny thing is about it, I've been wanting to do this to the Jehovah Witnesses in Gosford, but I don't know where they've gone. I don't know where they've gone. When it comes to filming religious members, great video. Hails to the man who filmed this posting. Hails to you, Pro One. Theologist. The Green Goddess. There is no joy in that cult. It is all put off till Armageddon wipes away everyone. But his favourite self-righteous cult members, they give up on their bad children, grandchildren. Guess we are gifts from God after all. They stave off hobbies, careers, helping others, volunteer work, travelling, skiing, new things, and they spend all their time going to meetings, studying the literature knocking on doors and standing by carts. Gee whiz, that's horrible. They are not living their lives. They are sacrificing everything in life and waiting for perfection in paradise. And that's going to be a barbecue, isn't it? Revelation 21. And they're going to be on the, they're going to be on the barbie. And all the new children, they will get to replace the bad ones they shun today. They give it all up thinking we will have forever in paradise as perfect, useful people to enjoy life. It breaks my heart. It's horrifying to think that they sacrifice their lives just to go to hell, which is no paradise. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Life without God's love and light and everlasting life is tragic. Thank you for all you do to help us. We are working hard to wake up our families and friends in this satanic trap. You are so helpful to us. I don't know if you get just how much. You are a blessing on our lives. God bless you. And God bless you. I think what the viewers are starting to realize is their comments are ministering to each other. These deep, heartfelt, mindful experiential comments are beginning to help other viewers green goddess thank you dawn ross don't let this affect you too negatively doctor i have to take breaks from the jw stuff frequently because it's really dark is it dark or what it's like a cave where all the footsteps lead in and none lead out horrible i worry for the little ones some people think JWs are just those who well-dressed people who dis disturb their weekends, and I think most JWs are really sincere. The organisation, however, well, as I've said before, I've come to believe it is organised evil and a cleverly constructed deceit, and that's exactly right, Dawn. It's like it's a sick experiment on people who, in the majority, want goodness, but it's deliberately designed to break every known human natural bond, the bonds between family and members, and even people and their precious lives. Sick. And it works. It sure does, because people are attracted to religion and deceit. That's how our carnal, carnal nature gets its power. Anyway, the building is looking good. Hope you get some rest, relaxation, and laughs. Thank you, Dawn, and same to you. Zen... Galileo. I wish I could pronounce that, you know. Now, this man did a lot of work um, with the blood doctrine. With the blood doctrine. There he is there. Um, he, was a, the, he speaks about the true history of the AW, AJWRB, which was a blood thing. Um, he went in deep into it. You might want to look at some of his videos. He hasn't got many, but he says, Yes, the personal fatigue comment is profoundly true and insightful. In my case, it is exactly that that opened a crack for me to see through their lies. 
My first month after leaving Bethel. He must have been a Bethelite, ex-Bethelite. I turned in a pity three hours in field service. I was accustomed to putting in at least ten in addition to full-time Bethel service and a hundred hours as a pioneer. Oh, goodness me, he's got to do more videos, this fella. Zen, Zen Galileo, or I'm just going to call you Zen. You've got to do more videos, mate. We need your voice. I hadn't turned in such a low figure in my life. And you know what I thought? That was three hours. I'll never go, never get back. Exactly. Now that's a key point. He's, what he's actually saying is, the time that he was putting in was time that he'll never get back for the life that he was supposed to be living. You're wasting your time with all that stuff. And I can tell you, you are. I was so exhausted from being at Bethel that I never wanted to knock on another door as long as I lived. And still, it was four more years before I finally faded for the first time. That's how brainwashed I was. And I've been exhausted ever since. That's how burned out I was. Ten years of full-time service. Tens of thousands of hours. I will never get back. just want to pause for a minute and um, just in respect to the XJWs right now, I just want to pause for a minute and pray. <sighs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these comments and we thank you more so for the lives of the people that are making them. My God, in Jesus' name, I ask you right now, through this moment to allow your Holy Spirit to go deep into the recesses of these one's minds and hearts and help them to see that everything was all right all along through what Jesus did on the cross. I thank you, Lord, for our lives that were still alive and that we can have a life. And if we make a difference, good. But the most important thing is for us, and thank you for this, Lord, is the life that we have and to live it to the full. In Jesus' name, amen. This is Pro One Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watch it on YouTube, please share or like, um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.